Hello, I'm Thomas Carruthers. I'm Will Legator. And today we are... <laughs> speak. We are, not our, we are uh, met, uh, reunited uh, with return guest Nathan Sloan. Nathan Sloan, Hello. how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, very good. How have you been since we recorded um, Hot Fuzz? Well, Buzz, uh, yeah, good. Um, watch quite a lot of new films, which is always good. Uh, mm, making good. the most of the lockdown life. So. Of the of, before we get to Chicken Run, is there one new film of, of all the new films that you've seen? What's the one that you've really globbed onto? Um, I'll, I'll go with two because they're quite different. Um, Moneyball, um, great, yeah, baseball film, um, really good. It is. And the Pursuit of Happiness. I've never seen that before. Oh, that's that's my favourite Will movie. Oh, well, there I, you go. I, I do like Hancock. I do like Hancock. But yeah, you know, I've seen Hancock, Hancock. you know that Hancock was the the script is like R rated and filthy, and he's like a rapist and a murderer, and then they turned it into like a Will Smith wacky yeah. comedy. Yeah, there's a there's yeah. your fun fact. It was supposed to be like, what if the superheroes? I mean, whoa, what if superheroes are real? And now we get one of those bloody movies every other week. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's superheroes, but it's in real life. <laughs> um, you know what's really good still, and I think it's quite underrated, if I can grab it, is Watchmen. I really enjoy Watchmen. Yes. I think Watchmen is quite underrated. Nearly as good as The Watch uh, with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. That's another movie that got... Um, what do you call it? Oh, is it Owen Wilson? I don't think it is, is it? No, it's Ben Stiller. Vince Vaughn. It's, Vin, it's, his, it's his mate, isn't it? It's Richard Ayoade, Vince Vaughn, and um, Jonah Hill. And that got... That's it. And that had to get remarketed as well and had it, have its name changed because it was originally called Neighbourhood Watch. Mm. But the week that it was going to come out, a uh, racist Neighbourhood Watch killed a black man. Uh, so they had to Ooh. remarket the entire film. I'm just yeah. full of fun facts today about remarketing and reproducing <laughs> films. Uh, but today, we're talking about one of your favourites, Will. So why don't you kick us off talking about your... Oh, it's not in your top 20. No, 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 it's not. It's not. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> no, it, it, it doesn't you're have still, to be my top 20. To, no, it I still a, adore this movie. It's, uh, the main reason I like it is just nostalgic. This was for our family... The, the family movie to watch with a Sunday dinner. Ever wonder what chickens do when you're not looking? Operation Cover Up! No chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm! You've got to get out of here. Uh, attempt was a bit of a fiasco. These chickens are planning a little getaway. The plan is, we go over the wire. <laughs> that might work. Now, they may have found their only hope. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You've been a wonderful audience. <laughs> the name's Rocky. And what brings you to England? Why, all the beautiful English chicks, of course. We'd always get chicken run on. Um, and have eating. Chicken. Yes. yes. I was going to say our oh, yes. after nice roast chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, chicken pie or roast? Oh, here's a fun fact. We're starting early. Um, when, I was, when I was a younger, a younger boy, um, whenever we had pies, chicken pies, I would refuse to eat it when my mum had cooked a nice pie. I would refuse to eat it unless I was told it was a Mrs. Tweedy's chicken pie. Sometimes, <laughs> when told it wasn't, I would not eat my dinner. She Americans. Hi, how are you? Overpaid, over sex, and over here. Which punk is mine? What is it? It's a pie machine. Chickens go in, pies come out. Ooh, what kind of pies? We're all going to fly over that fence, and Mr. Rhodes is going to show us how. Did you say fly? 
this summer. I don't want to be a pie. I don't like grid. Rocky! I'm coming! From the Academy Award-winning creators of Wallace and Gromit. Rocky! I'll be down before you can say mixed vegetables! Who dare to dream? It's a better place out there. And get ready to fly. <laughs> the event of an emergency, put your head between your knees and kiss your bum goodbye. Chicken run. I mustn't panic. <laughs> oh, that's very strange. That, that's the emotional connection I have with this movie, and that's why I love it so much. Uh, and I probably will have a chicken pie today. Why not? We should have really had a chicken pie last night, rather than the curry. Oh, well, it's chicken curry, so yeah. It's chicken is chicken, isn't it? I'm going to say it. Um, Pies are shit. Oh, and you, you, you say you're from Yorkshire. I know. Has, has Will never taken you to uh, the Nottingham House? I'm going to have to take you to Notty House. I yeah. won't eat it, though. It, it doesn't matter what it's That's fine. There. I'll eat it. I'll have two pies. <laughs> I'll just no, I will company. order something that I enjoy, Will. No, they, I just don't, I don't know what it is. I, I like pastry. I love, a, I love a sausage roll, but... I, I, um, the <laughs> main, the, I do, uh, local, <laughs> yes, everybody go to Wilson's in Bunchback. The, um, I don't like gravy. Oh. I don't like gravy. I like, <laughs> I'm just like Jane Horrocks. <laughs> I, I like, um, I do like KFC gravy. I know, I'm very fussy. Oh, Has this oh come no, up? that's the bad, that's bad gravy, Tom. No, that's bad good gravy. gravy. No, that's good gravy. Has this come up before on the show, how... I used to be a lot worse, but I think I, 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 I'm not a fussy eater. I just know what I want. I'm like Sally. I think, I'm like Sally I think we Albright. discussed with your pizza problem yes, that was last, last, week, last yeah. episode, but you, you have problems with like, uh, we went to, uh, we've probably done this story before, but we went to Spoons, didn't we? Um, uh, and it was, yes. well, you got steak. Um, yeah. And do you want to carry on? Because I've forgotten what you ordered, but it was... I, I had steak. I had steak. Yeah. I had steak yeah. Yeah. And... I um I said right because I don't like I only like fish and chip chips and McDonald's chips, so I said, can I have the chips on a separate plate, please? And so that so that then they can be passed around. I only want the mushroom of the when it comes to the vegetables, um, um, and then I ordered the scampi as well and and a little chicken uh little chicken <laughs> breast. Um, Just had a plate of meat. <laughs> Meat and fish, well, scampi is, of course, right. fish. That's, that sounds surf. delicious. Surf and turf's great. It, it does. But it, it's I've, been, I've been told from an early age that you can only have one protein sometimes because, because of health. I have to skip out on the protein now and I have to find it via lentils or other source of silly protein. Halloumi my... is great meat substitute. Halloumi is great in a curry. Or in like wraps if you're having like Mexican mm. food. Believe me, instead of your chicken, goes down a tree. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but alas, chicken run. Chicken uh, Two thousand. It's not a um, run, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, How much Wallace and Gromit has come out by this point in the Ardman canon? But it's two thousand, so I should think the three episodes. The first three episodes. Yeah. Have we had a close shave? Oh. Maybe that not. was quite a recent. Well, no, we have ninety-five. Wow. Yeah. 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 So just... we've had three Wallace and Gromit's Chicken Run and the animal ones. In the zoo. Oh yeah. Oh, Creature Comforts. Creature. I loved uh, Creature Comforts. They're great. I, I completely forgot about them. That's my favourite Hardman thing. <laughs> I love Creature Comforts. I used I to find it the it's... funniest show in the world. I love. I love Creature Comforts. It's great. <laughs> Better than this. And um, okay, and well, fun fact. Uh, oh, God. Another one. So, uh, Nick Park went to Sheffield Hallam University back when it was oh. the Polytechnic. Yes. Oh. Where you are, you should say. No, uh, so, oh. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm at oh. University of Sheffield. Tom. Yeah. Uh, oh, I want to make right. that very clear. Uh, very, so, very clear. So, Sheffield Hallam's the Leeds Beckett of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the York St. John's. Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, you know what's great about, you know, the Leeds... I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, 
University of Leeds people are also cokehead slapheads, or at least one of them is, and he's Welsh. Okay, <laughs> Will, do you remember the opening line to this film? Um, because I forgot you know to take what? it down. Is it? Is it, it? There's a chicken. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> are we counting? Sh yeah, let's count. Sure. Yeah. And move yeah. on. <laughs> isn't it? When they're first like, trying to escape. Opening line of Chicken Run. I wonder how many times this has been said. Why hasn't somebody made an opening line, closing line website? You can. There's definitely some, or at least with books, I think there is somewhere. Mm. Um, well, whilst Will's fiddling with himself, YouTube comments. I've got the whole transcript. Oh, it, it is. Shh, I'm stuck. Get back. Mrs. Tweedy. What is that chicken doing outside the fence? Oh, I don't know, love. I just deal with it. Now, I'll teach you to make a fool out of me. Ugh. Now, let that be a lesson to the lot of you. No chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Chicken run. Uh, <laughs> a level drama. This movie is darker than I remember. Very dark. I wish it was darker. Anyway, I we'll feel go, like we'll, go on. It could be quite scary for a young kid. Yeah. Definitely. But I watched like Sleepy Hollow. I watched like actually scary mo movies as a kid. The famous, <laughs> the famous story is that. Halloween when I was five, we my grandma and granddad taped Bram Stoker's Dracula, the proper Keanu Reeves, Gary Oldman, lesbian orgy, lots of blood <laughs> movie, <laughs> full blown eighteen, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, and um, and we just watched it, and then I there was this kid bully at my nursery, and he'd always bullied me, so I just had enough, and I bit him, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and, and then turned into a I turned into as a vampire. Yeah, no, that's what it was. And then I, I said, uh, the teacher was like, "Why did you bite him?" He said, "Because I watched Dracula." And then they had to bring my mum in, and uh, they said, um, "Thomas tells us that he's seen Dracula." And my mum went, "No." <laughs> Ooh, that's champion. That is. What is it? It's a pie machine, you idiot. Chickens go in, pies come out. Ooh, what kind of pies? Apple. My favourite. Chicken pies, you great lummox. It's one of those cartoons, small Dracula, little vampire movies. Never mind. It wasn't. It was Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> the highly sexually graphic, highly gory, <laughs> wonderful. Um, <laughs> 90s film. Bloody wolves! Keanu Reeves doing a great British accent. <laughs> Free the days of uh, Hotel Transylvania, right? Hotel Transylvania 3, was it 2, which one was it? Uh, Freeze the two. Cruise. Then it was 2. Is two. very good. Oh, no. Oh, I, no. <laughs> uh, I went to, so basically we have a, 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 we call it Dad's Fest. So basically every Christmas or whatever, the wives, wives go to, wives go to club. <laughs> wives have a nice day in Leeds or whatever, and then the dads um, take all the kids, and and we have lovely little, um, we have a lovely uh, Amy, and so she's really young. So every year it, there's like a better film that we all want to go see, but we can't because Amy's still <laughs> too young. So it was um, Last Jedi versus Hotel Transylvania two. Then it was Jumanji. Jungle versus Spectre. Then it was this year Jumanji Two versus Jojo Rabbit. And now she's not now. She, oh, I I can't remember how old she. But now she's of of age for to watch Jojo Rabbit. Like I when Amy when my kids are Amy's, I will watch Jojo Rabbit with them. Like I think that well, it's, it's educational. It is educational, and yeah. I think it's you're not going to throw them in with Schindler. I think it's a. Or I think. Bram Stoker's. Uh, <laughs> um, I want, speaking of it, I did watch Schindler's List very young. Actually, I think my family. That's the way to do it. That was one of. The, that was a contentious thing with my ex. I always said, you know, that our kids are going to watch like movies that they're far too young for, and she was like, no. So now that's the new goal: is to find a woman who is as mis misinformed as I am. <laughs> Is it's my jaws? Yeah, put it on, put it on. <laughs> She's five. Good. Um, 
I'm Irish. Yeah, I'm glad. Speaking of uh, Schindler's List, Lucy Ellis. This is basically a concentration camp for chickens, except they're all British, and the commanding officer is a chicken farmer. Chicken farmer who likes pies. Makes sense. Excellent. Yeah. What? Why? Why would there be British? Be be. Yeah. You know, the British were in concentration camps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they're saying that as opposed to them being German. Ah. Uh, because they didn't get Jews from England and bring them over, did they? Mr. Tweedy, what is that chicken doing outside the fence? There, any hen who fails to produce enough eggs... And then they're for the chop. Their many escape attempts are foiled by the greedy Mrs. Tweedy, played by Miranda Richardson. No chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm! She is sort of relentless here. She's just vile to Mr. Tweedy. Mr. Tweedy! <gasps> She's vile to the chicken. She's a vile full stop, really. And they finally have found a way to make some real money around here. And what are you on about? Ridiculous notions of escaping chickens. They didn't. They didn't. Or, or the disabled, or the homosexual. Uh, this movie was inspired by The Great Escape with Steve McQueen. Yeah. It was I don't, I don't and uses, this. uses the music obvious. as well. Isn't it? it does. It, you, it's the, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the music now. The music in this is excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the greatest soundtracks of all time. I will stand by that. Um, and it's wonderful. It's very. And this is better than The Great Escape. I've said it. I'd, I'd better. Yeah. Yeah, better yeah. or your, it's definitely your fa your preferred film. I thought like Great Escape would be like right up your alley, Will. I, that oh, just, it is. It is. Yeah, that I just love feels the Great like Escape. Winter time. You're the guy when Great Escape's always on BBC Two at Christmas. You're like yes, because <laughs> you. <laughs> and you're the. Sort I do of love the Great yeah. Escape. It's it's like why buy it on DVD? It's always on. That's that's that. Your... And your your Basil Rathbone Sherlock Holmes. Oh, classic. Mm. Oh. Um, well, this leads us on to perhaps a topic we should end with, but it turns out we're going to start with it, it seems. There is going to be a chicken run too. Yes. I'm hyped. Yes. Are you I'm too hyped? Very excited. Very, very, excited. very excited. It will take a while to come out, though, which is a I shame. I think they've started it already, though, haven't they? I and think. The announcement I mean, was that Netflix have basically just poured some money into, into yeah. the project. Yeah, wonderful. I mean... Good thing about this as well is you can you can make an Ardman movie in isolation because the other actors are just they're just made of plasticine. Yeah, but the animators are. They don't yeah, move on yeah. their own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they do at night. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be directed by Sam Fell, who directed Paranorman, Flushed Away. Oh. And... Oh. Oh yes. Sainsbury's The Greatest Gift, 2016. <laughs> and The Tale of Despero. I think I watched that in the cinema. Oh, yeah, that's the mouse one, isn't it? Where that's Emma the Watson's mouse one. one of the voices or something. Yeah, with Matthew Broderick and Emma. Yeah, it's like, it's like a musketeer sort of thing. Yeah. Justin Hoffman yeah. and Stanley Tucci and Kevin Kline and William H. Macy and Kieran Hines and Robbie Coltrane <laughs> and Frank Langella and Christopher <laughs> Lloyd and Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> that's another great thing with um, sound casts is that you can just literally get the laundry list <laughs> um, the only announced voices that are returning are Greg Salata as Fowler and Jane Horrocks as Babs I've said no. well Mel isn't returning is he oh. as he's, uh, he's said some, some nasty things yeah, but he's yeah, but he's still making movies. Like he's making Passion of the Christ too. Remember, he, he is, which is very exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Mel, nobody cares. Mel, he was drunk at the time, so nobody cares. He can do what he wants. Like, what do you call it? Movie? Um, uh, break down, break down. Um, Hacksaw, Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, the, the guy's been nominated for best director. Everybody's forgot about it. But I, I think, um, yeah, in the in the current time of recording. Um, it, people are getting a um, a lot more 
we need to sort of really sort this out and not leave a blind eye to it. So but I think I we're taking a bit, a bit more seriously. talking about Mel Gibson. I've, I've read articles about, I, I think maybe he's had um, an argument with someone related to the project and then uh-huh. they've said, ah, no, uh, I don't want him in here. About Passion of the Christ 2, colon, resurrection. Wonderful. This is real. Uh, uh, Putting it yeah. out in Easter. Jim Caviezel, <laughs> Jim Caviezel will be back. Um, that's wonderful news. Uh, yeah, no, no. I. What did he say? Sugar tits. Called the, he called the female cop sugar tits. Mm. Um, there's the bad gay guy in uh, Braveheart. And he's famously anti-Semitic. I always think of the great Ricky Gervais jokes when he, yes. when, he when he throws him under the bus every time. <laughs> um, it's, it's, uh, but now that we've given that some lip service, now we can celebrate the wonderful career of one of my favourites, Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> can you deny that Mel Gibson is one of the best, most charismatic, most wonderful actors ever? He's great. He's, he's an interesting bloke. Yeah. Uh, I love Braver. I love Daddy's Home too. That's a great. Yes, movie. you do love Daddy's Home too. <laughs> he was recording this whilst also filming The Patriot, which is less good. Uh, Lethal mm. Weapons are obviously excellent. Ransom is really good. Um, he has the best song for me, best love song in any Disney film. Uh, well, uh, in Pocahontas. In Pocahontas, with uh, yeah. if I if I uh, never knew you, which uh, is one of the most painful beautiful love songs ever written and Mel sings it wonderfully which is another thing like he's never you never see him singing or anything or he's not known for his singing voice but he sings it very well as <laughs> as John Smith um 10 minute stretch Nathan as the guest why don't you kick us off with your favorite 10 minute stretches I mean, it's, there's only um what eight 10 minute stretches in the film. Which yes, this is true. It is 82 <laughs> minutes long. <laughs> so, um, there's the, the, the first time they go like into the machine, the prime machine. Yeah. Is a very good stretch. Yeah. I don't know how long it is, but. Yeah, we, you can give or take. We, we always give or take. That, that bit is very good. And the bit when they're like in the pie room and Rocky falls in every single pie trying to get out. <laughs> Um, and you've got your little Indiana Jones reference yeah like with that. the hat and stuff yeah but this returns uh, to my hatred of gravy I find oh, that similarly disgusting I'm like oh <laughs> for, that's disgusting it needs to be like it needs to look faker I know it's great no. that it looks good but I, I want it to be like really brown and sludgy I want it to look like the chocolate in um, Charlie not in, the, the, not in Willy Wonka where it's Red and looks like <laughs> watered down. Um, that, that fun fact, they it was actually chocolate mixed with like it was melted chocolate, water. cocoa powder, milk, and water, mm. and a bit of coloring. So it was chocolate, even though it looks very not like chocolate. Mm. Interesting, good old Wonka, but yeah, probably either that stretch or there's like the sort of like the training montage, and then yes. with Nick and Fetcher just watching on. Making all sorts of interesting comments. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're the best thing in it, really. They are. Yeah. But still, they're good. But they are just a poor man's. Uh, oh, here we uh, go. This they're is, just a, they're just a poor man's Waldorf and Statler. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. They they're sure not. are. It's a the, Brit- the British equivalent. Yeah. The crank Muppet Show trivia. The cranky old men in the balcony are named after two New York City hotels. I, th- I feel like that's not trivia. I feel like that's pretty famous. I, I didn't know that. Did you? <laughs> the Waldorf! <laughs> I've, I've, I've never been to New York, so... I'll have a Waldorf salad. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, obviously, everyone else put, put me. But... The 10-minute... The I, I, I completely agree with you. The 10-minute stretch of the pie machine really you know, feeds into my love of animated, not even animated, mm. getting trapped in machine sequences. I, oh, they're great. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're literally the best thing in any movie. If you've got a sequence where somebody's trapped in a machine and there's lots of different parts and there's a conveyor belt, 
like I, I'm sold. Yeah. Um, other great example. I mean, 101 Dalmatians. Famously, when I had a speech impediment as a child, uh, the classic clip is me going, um, "She got baked in the cake," and my mum going, "What?" I got got baked in the cake. And uh, I'm trying to talk about when Glenn Close <laughs> as Cruella de Vil gets baked into the cake at the it's end of 101 like, Dimensions. Yeah. I was going to say, it's not a speech impediment, it's just the Yorkshire accent. <laughs> it's just PTSD from watching Dracula from a young age. <laughs> no, the, the Yorkshire speech impediment comes in when you're trying to tell. The, the one time, like obviously you get ripped into, oh sorry, I study down in London, so I get ripped into a bit. And I get ripped into mainly when I talk about Bullseye. And I'm like, yeah, yeah no, it's great because they play darts and, 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 you, and you play for points. You go, what? You go, no, yeah, it's great. And then um, Kez, obviously, when you try and tell them that it's just a movie about a boy and his bird. And then um, the, the main thing is when I told my friend Garth, previous guest, about Shannon Matthews under Devan Bed, and he just didn't understand it. He was like, what? Sorry, sorry, say that slower. And I said, Shannon Matthews under the van bed. And I went, what are you saying? And he just <laughs> he just didn't get it. So I had to tell him. And, and then half an hour later, he knew the exact intricacies of the Shannon Matthews case. Uh, Will, have you got any other I like structures? I, I've got the same too. Um, if you want to throw in another, I, I'll probably say that the takeoff into sort of Mrs. Tweedy hanging on and the, the fight. That's yeah, the like escape. The other big... Yeah action sort of sequence but that that mach- inside the machine is by far the best part of the film mm. that sketch yeah um i know i know it's like a you no know, an animated movie and all that she's a grown woman <laughs> I, just, I, I i just couldn't i'm sorry i just couldn't evo- I, I just couldn't shut my mind off when she was so big and she didn't pull it down. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. We were saying um, last night um, the bit where um, she finally swings the axe, and you think she's chopped Ginger's head off. Oh yes. But then, but then Ginger's like, "Oh, <laughs> bye bye." How is she holding up, <laughs> Mrs. Tweedy? A fully grown woman, and it's like really casually like holding it as well. It's like, woo. And it's not Ginger like... the chicken is the most powerful being on earth. I- but also, it, it's just demigod. like you need the. It's the rules of your own universe. If throughout the film there was more slapstick, more well, not more slapstick, but more cartoon logic, then that's yeah. fine. I'll accept anything. Because if she inhibits that amount of strength, she could just punch her way out, <laughs> tear down the fence, <laughs> it's throw Mr. Like Tweedy across. Rocky's like really gutted that he thinks Ginger's been decapitated I mean it's not as if there's a head she's, yeah around. she's flexible isn't she <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know they're really funny that's what I always laugh about all these you know fake death scenes and stuff it's like <laughs> I, I like to think about them who are, who are in that moment going oh yeah no I'll pretend to be dead for a minute and they go like yeah <laughs> <I'm not> gonna... <laughs> um Tom's really specific favourite parts of the film. I've got a few. Any Great Escape reference, I, I do prefer the Great Escape. I'm sorry, Will. With, uh, with Fowler emptying all of his, his nuts and bolts out the, the trousers. I, I spe- like specifically the ball, because I am a ball boy. Yes, I, I, you, you do. I famously, as a lonely child, end up lonely <laughs> again. Ha, ha, ha. And I play squash with myself, and I throw balls <laughs> against walls. Uh, yes. And that's that. The teapot gag. Yes. <laughs> it's great. As a big Mel Gibson fan, I love the when he see when he shouts freedom. Um, <laughs> yes, Braveheart. Uh, I personally don't think he's ever directed a film as good as Braveheart, but um, Braveheart is great. Axel Ridge. Mm, I didn't really like Axel Ridge. Contender. It was I'm very sorry. Clint Eastwood, was Axe Orange. It did, it you're right, Directed by Clint Eastwood. It felt like, yeah. I, I, did nobody think that putting slow motion on Hugo Weaving drunkenly talking was a good idea? 
<laughs> you know, when he went, I'm going to beat you. Did nobody laugh? It's Aphrodite. <laughs> it's Aphrodite. <laughs> I, I mean, do people not realize that, that, that you cannot put slow motion on somebody's voice? Anyway. Um, which bunk is mine? Any joke, really, where all the chickens want to have sex with Rocky. These are some horny... <laughs> Very <hands>. horny chickens. <laughs> I, any joke where they want to have sex with Mel Gibson. Um, Jane Horrocks tying a noose. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and the phrase, yank nanny. <laughs> uh, Will? Uh, I love Mrs. Tweedy's pyjamas. The beginning and her fluffy, uh, fluffy slippers. That's great. Are he as good as Mr. Freezer's pajamas and slippers in Batman and Robin. <laughs> they are very good. Um. Well, oh, I've I love Rocky not understanding uh, the Scottish. Uh, and then you got that Braveheart reference again. Yeah, I can the land of the free, Scotland. <laughs> great. Um, over, over the brave land of the fruit. <laughs> I love it when Fowler screams cock a doodle do. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I was re- um, Is it just me that gets really excited by? I oh, know you said machinery. I yeah. love Bill, the bit, the montage where Mister Tweedy is building the machine. Got me very, very excited. Uh, I am an engineer myself. I, I used to have all the Meccano, the Lego Technic. Yes. I would very happily travel to Mrs. Tweedy's farm and volunteer to build that machine for her, and it would give me hours of satisfaction. I would probably be very thankful that, that Mel Gibson went into the machine, just so I could mend it and put it all back together again. <laughs> it's <laughs> like the, James May. It's the lack of resistance on the, the rotating blade when she gets it and she spin, like puts a tiny bit of spin onto it and it just keeps <laughs> turning and turning around. It's brilliant. <laughs> and then the spikes pop out. Um, I love Rocky jumping in the dough, in the dough ball. That's very <laughs> funny. Um, and I, I love the gnomes when um, Nick and Fetcher dress up as gnomes and steal all the tools. And you just see them walking out. It's very funny. Nathan? What what are your um, um, certain just, things you liked? Any Nick and, and Fetcher moment, literally all of them are fantastic. Yeah. Um, Why isn't that a gif? The which when one? they're on when they're dancing on the balcony, like it looks. Oh, like, like the Bru- been, Blues Brothers. It looks like it's been edited or ready to be a gif. You <laughs> <to> just <laughs> lift it. Gifs weren't a thing back then, were they? Two thousand. Oh, yeah. Well, now. Yeah, but neither. Uh, neither, neither make, let's yeah, make it. Yeah. Make it slow. Make it um, Is Ed Wiener going on holiday? Absolute classic. <laughs> um, trying to think what else there is now. We haven't already said. Um, the, the whole apple pies, chicken pies. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my favourite. <laughs> chicken pies, you great blocks. <laughs> Um, just the, the actual ship itself, the plane. Mm. They make, mm. is, is a very satisfying is yes. thing to is watch. It, we were saying yesterday we were watching it. The fact that they've got this like little deck chair as a ramp, <laughs> and this massive aeroplane with like a hundred odd chickens on. <laughs> can withstand totally the weight of a whole yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm surprised not many like. You remember when the Shaggy memes were massive about? How he was so powerful. Oh, yeah. um, I'm not. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm for carrying the dog. Like, yeah, and for the whole um, become that scene in Scooby Doo Two, where he's he drinks a potion. That's the one, and he's all big and he's got loads of muscles. And there's like they edited all the interview tapes. He's saying, "Yeah, yeah, I just took out a hundred guys the dead morning." It's just very funny. I do it the movies. Big, big I do meme. the Scooby Doo movies. Yeah, wonderful movies. Make more. Um, but then um, I think I think they should make a, a chicken room meme equivalent because they are very very strong chickens. Yes. Well, this will come to. We'll get to it in terms <laughs> of the question. Um, Nathan, any more specific parts? There's the bit where they all get like all being fed up kind of thing, 
for the for the slaughter and like she flips the thing over and they all like look round at her and their faces stuff. That's quite funny. And it's good. Um, and the bit when Ginger jumps off the edge of the, the hut and thinks she's flying, but she's just standing on a pile of, of chicken. is a good one. Um, there is no old... Oscar travesty. Oh, sorry, Ned, no, I thought you were... That's all right, I was going to say, the, the very end with Nick and Fletcher obviously discussing the very important the question. The egg. Yes. Chicken or the egg. But for them, it's not... The joke's great. But for them, it's not a problem. They would obviously just... Get a chicken and buy it. Well, we've got eggs now. Yeah, they're, they're sort yeah. of. Yeah, there's, yeah. It's a funny gag, though. I'll, I'll allow it. No Oscar gag. travesty because Shrek hadn't happened yet. And as we all know, ah. it was the popularity of Shrek that led to Best Animated Feature. Um, however, it did get nominated for Golden Globe, uh, comedy or musical. It didn't win. Um, what did? What did? Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, Golden Globes 2001. Golden Globes. Well, 2001 was uh, American Beauty. It's not um, really a comedy or a musical. I, 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 <laughs> it's very funny. American Beauty is like, a, for me, laugh out loud in place. <laughs> oh, no. This, it is this funny. This is what happens when you start watching Dracula <laughs> at five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's not looking good. Um, no, uh, um, American Beauty is really funny. And also it's a good, a good musical bit where Annette Benning sings Don't Run On My Parade when she's driving yes. home from the car. This is the biggest problem with American Beauty. I cannot get rid of my Blu-ray. And I won't. I'm not, I, 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 can, with, I can remove the art from the artist. Um, Gary Spacey is, is an abhorrent um, person in his personal life. I'm not going to deny that. I won't call him one of my favourite actors anymore, but I'm not going to ever deny that he's not actually one of my favourite actors. Um, from LA Confidential to American Beauty to The Ref to Swimming with Sharks to Glengarry Glen Ross, he's just great. Um, but um, America, I cannot remove American Beauty because I will simply not ignore Annette Benning's incredible performance in that film and the love bit and, and, and her love affair with uh, Peter Gallagher, uh, Schmidt's dad. Um, it's great. American Beauty is great. Uh, musical or comedy, 2001 at the Golden Globes. Chocolat. Oh, oh, well, is that a nominee or the winner? I'll tell you the nominees and then I'll tell oh. you, and then you, you <laughs> get to love. Win. Chocolat. Chocolat. Chicken Run. Almost Famous. Best in Show or Brother Where Art Thou? Oh, it would have been Brother Where Art Thou, which I'm not a fan of. It was Almost Famous. It's a very eclectic uh, mix of films, that. Well, that's the problem yeah. with the comedy. That's, sorry, that's the problem with the Golden Globes. Like, The Martian got nominated for musical or comedy uh, because they... There were too many drama nominees. It's a terrible system. The Golden Globes is a mess. And also, it's not like, an, a, it's not a, what do you call it, a majority like the Academy where everybody gets a vote. It's the foreign film press and they decide the nominees and then they decide mm. who wins. Uh, and that's about 20 people. Uh, Mel Gibson was nominated that year, but for What Women Want. Um, yeah, no, I think mean, for me, best in show is the best there. Uh, did Chicken Run get nominated for anything else? BAFTA, surely. Oh, yes, we do, we do look after our own, don't we? We do, we do, especially that year when King's Speech won an ungodly amount. Uh, no, not even a nomination. It, well, no, it got two nominations. Uh, it was nominated for Best British Film. And I'll tell you who it lost to in a moment. And it was nominated for Best Achievement in Special Visual Effects, but also lost. So let's see, 2001 BAFTAs. And as I say, obviously there was no animation yet because of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Bloody, uh, bloody, 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 Shrek. bloody, bloody Shrek. <laughs> bloody Shrek. <laughs> I love uh, how much of a meme is. Uh, Chicken Run lost to The Perfect Storm, and I have to agree. Oh, <laughs> the very, I, 
yeah, the perfect storm is pretty excellent. But is it as good as the visual effects in Gladiator, which was also nominated? Ah, but you've got George Clooney in a perfect storm, so... Yeah, but... Uh, people forget that Gladiator has one of the first bringing back a dead bringing back bringing back a dead person. <laughs> yeah, with Oliver with, Reed. with Oliver Reed who died um, in a. <laughs> ooh, ooh, the best outstanding film. British film. So you've got Last Resort and The House of Mirth. Don't know what they are. Here are your nomin- Here are your top nominees. I've already given away that Chicken Run lost. Sexy Beast, great film. Ray Winstone, Ben Kingsley, Ian McShane. Chicken Run, both lost to Billy Elliot. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. So that's sort of where the Looking After Our Own came about. Uh, and yeah, Billy Elliot wasn't in the best musical or comedy category for the for Golden Globes. Oh, that's true. No, because it's not but a musical, because... the film. Or we oh, could call just... it a comedy. Wait, let's yeah, go back to the Golden Globes. I the think Americans I saw... don't don't like Northerners, though, do they? They they like Northerners. Neither do the Southerners, the mate. British. So, yeah, yeah, it's very true. <laughs> Billy Elliot was nominated for drama at the Golden oh, okay. Globes, uh, along with Traffic, Erin Brockovich, Wonder Boys, but it lost to Gladiator. Yeah, and then That's at the Golden true. Globes, Tom Hanks won for Castaway, and he won mm. all throughout, but lost at the Oscars to Crow. The Gladiator. Hey. Mm. Also, Zemeckis think... won for Best Director. Oh, you've just, I've just deleted it now, Well, Oh, <laughs> oh there, back again. Um, best Director. Best Motion Picture. It's so shit, the Golden Globes, like the way that they structure everything. Uh, best Director. Uh, Zemeckis, no nomination. Oh, oh, poor Rob. Ang Lee won for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But he, Ang Lee didn't win at the Oscars. He lost to Steven Soderbergh for Traffic. Um, mm. And the famous joke is that when Steven Soderbergh got his first job, somebody said to him he couldn't direct Traffic, and then he won his Oscar for directing Traffic. That's your famous... That's like when they said to me, you can't direct Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, and I never did. <laughs> <laughs> and we got uh, yeah. <laughs> No, but you do understand the joke, well, don't you? But I, I, I was a very, very good a, joke. It is a different thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't, it's yeah, not actually yeah. a joke. It's a real life thing. It's a, it's yeah. a real life story. Okay. And Steven Soderbergh is a no shit, no bullshit kind of guy. World's favourite building or set? Oh, uh, well, I've, I've just written specific. Inside the Machine. Be, be speci- yeah, In, okay, so okay, In, Inside the Machine. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was specific enough, because I can't pick a favourite compartment of the, the machine. Not it's even all like good. the pie room. The, pi- no, the, pi- the oven, probably at number two. I do like the conveyor belt with the, the terrifying gravy machine when they're stuck in, and the vegetables. Mm-hmm. That, that sort of little area. That's, that's good. That's good. Best single minute. Uh, I'll just I'll throw a few to start. Um, the opening. It's a very effective opening. Sets the scene very well. I love a good dance. So when he buys the radio, and they're all bopping and jiving. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy that. Okay. And Rocky's, Rocky's arrival. Mm. Enjoyed that quite a bit. Nathan? I was going to say that the party bit, actually, as well. Do love that. Um, just like all, yeah, the like the montage of attempts that they have near the start mm. um, is, is quite a good minute. It sets up days. wonderfully the plight of these poor chickens. Yeah, it's it's a very strange concept as a film. Like I was thinking this yesterday, like who just sat down and thought maybe chickens are really smart and they want to escape, and when. You know, in, even in the context of the film, when did Ginger sit down and think, actually, this isn't the life I, I want as a chicken. I, I want better than this. It's ter- scary thought, really. Well, if chickens yeah. are really like that. I get, yeah, no, I guess. That's quite scary. I, I mean, it's the, it's the Toy Story thing, isn't it? It's all the same of, oh, what about these inanimate objects? What, what do they do? When I mean, chickens do? aren't inanimate objects, are they? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not really a fan of Toy Story. What? I, 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 I love the Toy Story franchise, but Toy Story 1 has never done it for me. Toy Story 2 is very, very good. Um, I've, I've not seen 4. 4 was good. Toy awesome. Story 1 has never, never really licked me icing. Um, my favourite minute is... <laughs> um, well, I like the first time we meet uh, Nick and Vetcher and they're playing with the, the badminton uh, shuttlecock. They're like, oh, uh, what, what's the quote? I've got the quote Oh, madame, it's like a vision, like a dream. Like a like duck. A duck. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favourite line from the... Like a duck. It uh, goes two ways. Gov, you can... Uh, a, for parties, for weddings. <laughs> we want... That's French. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Um, I love the launch test. Um, with the, the, the tension. Uh, the tension's going to kill me. It's going to kill her too. It's great. Uh, I just, they, they are the best characters. Uh, and also attacking Mr. Tweedy uh, when he opens and they all get him. I like that. They're my favourite minutes. Best line, let's do a round robin. Oh. So let's do alphabetical. So NTW. So Nathan, kick us off. Uh, how many candidates am I allowed to give? Well, let's just round robin, and then we'll we'll stop when it gets dull. Um, <laughs> that's that's def definitely a good one. Attention's killing me. It's gonna kill her. Wanna watch? Yeah, all right. Pushy ball. Americans always shouting up late, showing up late for every war. Overpaid, over sex, and over here. <laughs> they don't plot. They don't scheme, and they are not organised. And we crept in all quiet, like like a fish. Yeah, like a fish. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, just a little place I called the land of free and the home of the brave. Scotland. No, America. <laughs> <laughs> in all of my life, I've never heard such a fantastic load of tripe. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pies? <laughs> Apple pies. Oh, my favourite chicken pies, you great lummocks. I wasn't on holiday, Babs. I was in solitary confinement. Oh, it's nice to give it a shout to yourself, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that one really got me. I do have to <laughs> say, um, yes. Um, oh, sorry. Well, uh, th throw us, throw us a final Thank nail you. in the coffin. Oh, uh, what can I say? I'll, I'll go for the the classic. Lobby life flash before me eyes. It was really boring. <laughs> bit of bit of horrocks. Um, what's the next category? Oh, what's the change? Uh, what World is the change? We t we've discussed the yeah. The dynamics, the physics, yes. which is probably where I'll introduce Nathan. Um, <laughs> having having studied how many months of a physics degree was it? A, a whole year of a physics. A whole year. Degree. There you yeah. go. Well, and he, he ran off to the theatre. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, when I say I did the whole first year of physics, so there was a, a considerable lack of it, attendance towards the end. Just like Billy Elliot. Yeah, you were drawn <laughs> in by the world of the arts. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Um, I've got uh, too many scenes without gags. Yeah. Um, I think that the, the, the scenes we've picked out 
are the really good bits. But then interwoven, there's just too much um, sort of what setting the scene, trying to sitting on rooftops, having a deep. What the chat. shit was that? I, I just I want more jokes. Yeah, you need to know what you like. I'm all for yeah. I think they address the tension w- wonderfully enough. You don't need yeah. a lamenting three minute scene where she climbs up on the roof and everybody yeah, goes. Ah. The scene, um, the scene with the rain and she puts the poster back up on the wall and the lightning and the sad music. That's wonderful. Yeah, and it's very. That. That's the propellant. And, and you've got yeah. the. The gag at the end of all the, the chickens fighting and you've got some of them biting each other's legs. That, it works. But you compare this to what Flushed Away, Curse of the Were Rabbit, other Rabbit films, where you've still got sort of um, conflicting um, pivotal moments, mm. but they're full of gags. And that's, that's what Ardman do very well. It's, uh, another thing as well, it's Yorkshire humour, which is a, a great thing. How does Flushed Away see. hold up? When was the last time people have seen hot Flushed Away? The other week, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> oh. say, probably not that long ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> is it, we do is like it still, Is it still great? Oh, oh it's, 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 it's even better it's than the good. first time. I Why didn't it. you put that in your in your that little Ardman idea? I'll box. add it, I'll add it, I'll add it. I'll, to add, the it. I'll add it. No, flushed away. Oh, uh, less good, less good. Um, yeah, uh, I've got I want to see the chickens die. Um <laughs> I want a little. I want a little plasticine head roll. I'm, I'm, I'm not this even is a, a kids film, like for, yeah. for very young children. I, mean, I know most of the jokes are aimed at adults. But... I want to. I want a little message at the credits saying no chickens were harmed during the making. Yeah, of that's because that's, that, that's a, little, a good gag. It's another good gag, and it can yeah. be on like Watch Mojo and What Culture and all them of like. Ten things hidden in the credits. Now, at the end of the movie, you'd probably notice that it says no chickens were harmed in this in this film. Oh, or, or that boring Watch Mojo lady. Oh, hi. We're going to watch Mojo. Ten top comedy actors. Will Ferrell. Now, you probably know Will Ferrell from his early work. And then it cuts to an awkward clip. Yeah. <laughs> bad. bad, bad uh, is this the first time we, we've... Outwardly slated a rival YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, but we're David, they're Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> I love watch culture. I'm, I, I oh, follow all of Ms. that stuff. Ms. Mojo is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> because of the musical stuff. Yeah, because no, of the because musical No, because I get annoyed oh, yeah. because it's like so clearly that they haven't actually thought about ranking anything. Yeah. They've just typed in top, top seven Sondheim shows. They've just yeah. gone. Oh yeah, blah 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 blah. <laughs> well, they do top top ten musicals, and it's stuff like Waitress, and yeah, they have just picked ten. What's what's on at the moment? Yeah, I mean, Waitress just... is a good musical. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, it's <laughs> that's the pies I like. I don't <laughs> mind a sweet pie. Oh, a sweet pie. Mm, mm, a no. cherry pie is good. I do well, like it. Just you wait till you watch Twin Peaks. Pie, Oh, nothing Morrison's. But, Nathan. Go to Morrison's. They do okay, a lot yeah. of I'll see you later. <laughs> what about Banoffee Pie? I love banana. Oh, I love toffee. Ban- Banoffee's fine, but I don't. Something. Uh, bananas are hit or miss. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I don't. Have you had a Manchester tart? Uh, Too many jokes. Right. So little time. <laughs> hey, it's, um, it's a pastry case, and it's got a layer of jam, and then a layer of bananas, sliced bananas. Then custard and on top is desiccated coconut. No, see, here's my thing with bananas. It's got to be cooked into it. I, yeah, I can't oh, stick a that, goddamn that's chunk what it of is. banana. Like banoffee, if if you like, you cook them, you roast them, or whatever, and then you that you fry them off so they caramelise a bit, and then you mix them in with the toffee caramel sauce. Lovely, but you get a big chunk like. Kids at uh, uh, some uh, like school baking sales, uh, these big chunk of banana, you know, just don't do that. Don't give That's why that. my favourite banana confectionery is banana bread, because it, it, it mm. has all the wonderful taste of banana yeah. without the horrible consistency of an actual banana, which leads me on to one of my top underrated ice creams. I love banana ice cream. I love no, it. I was just about to... 
banana ice cream is so synthetic. I hate. I don't think I've ever had it. It's oh, bad. It's, sort it's yourself out, Nathan. Synthetic get, get, banana get flavor is tonight. bad. You'll, you'll never this turn is the, around. This is coming from the man who doesn't like pizza or pie. Yeah, but this is coming from the man. I think, actually, I am the authority on bananas because I didn't eat bananas until year three. And when I did famously eat a banana, I got brought up in assembly on Friday and they made me a certificate called Banana Boy. And it was a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find, I'll find it. <laughs> banana Boy. <laughs> and it's a picture of me holding a banana and congratulations, he ate a banana. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, th- my tolerance, yeah, my to- my um, capacity for like low low achievements started there. <laughs> um, very good. It was very good. It was the highlight of my life. It's all been downhill from <laughs> there. Um, I don't think ginger's very good. As, a as, a, as a as a character, no. As a character, as a voice performance, I don't think mm. she's she can lead the film. I don't. No, yeah, that, voice that's what I thought. It's something I pointed out when yeah. we watched it yesterday. She's got a southern accent and then says grass. And I mean, A, it's grass for a start, but but B, it, it, it was something about it just kind of like set my seat. Like she couldn't decide between a southern accent and then just saying grass. I'm talk- speaking of Sundown, it's got the classic company problem that you're surrounded by so many more interesting supporting roles mm. that you're sort of lo- shafted as Bobby or Ginger. But you're not actually, I- because Bobby's a great role and Bobby has three great songs, more than three great songs. And if you get a good performer in the role of Bobby slash Ginger, what about Chicken Run the Musical? I'll, I'll get on that one at the next, I mean, my next project. Yeah, what well, Wallace and Gromit, the music, uh, we still need to adapt uh, Curse of the Wear of it into a stage play, don't we? Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a project we're working on. We, we've cast it already, haven't we? We have, yeah. Would it be like, would it be the same gag as Adam's Family, the musical, where Gromit doesn't speak, obviously, and then at the end he's got the voice of an angel? Yeah. Move towards the darkness, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> Yeah. I'd like, yeah, move to Oz Darkness. What a, it, it's a strange closing number. Yeah, it's it's a good closing number. Like it, it's it, a, it picks up steam. When done know. well, and you've got the really emotional, big, powerful harmonies, but sometimes it can fall flat because it's not a big show. Because it's being done by New Pontefract College. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I I wish that they filmed the move towards the darkness where. Um, the rocket rocket man, what's his name? Alan John. No, Fester. <laughs> Fester yeah. missed his cue, and we were all, no, 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 no. We, he was waiting for the rocket sound effect, wasn't he? Yeah. And so we all we were stood there for three <laughs> minutes, and you've got that fan <laughs> of the do 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 do, and we're all going Whoa, rocket time, and, <laughs> and then eventually you heard this, and then he ran off. <laughs> Towards the moon. What a um, what a show! What a show! Yeah, good time. highlights of a uh, very good time. Very good time. Good times indeed. Yeah, um, we, we how did how did he get in the dough? Because he gets knocked one way and then he lands in the dough. But the uh, the, the other guy, I can't remember exactly. I should. Go, uh, he gets stuck in the. There's a problem with the dough. Anyway, it's not been proved enough. <laughs> no. Oh, that's it. Oh, because they're all going into the pies anyway, aren't they? Doesn't yeah, matter whether they are it's some. meat or vegetables, yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Things all go right. in and, and, and pies come out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, what, is there anything left from your notes, William? Oh, what have I got? Uh, I love the knitted balaclavas. They're good. They're, they're not as good as the noose. That's, that, they're, <laughs> my, they're actually my favourite band, Will. <laughs> um, uh, I love them um, when... They, sort of the first time we see into the Tweedy's household, and she's like, "I'm sick and tired of making minuscule profits." And then yeah. there's that brochure that says exactly that. I'm sick and tired of making minuscule profits. <laughs> That's very good. Um, I, what's your opinion on Rocky getting really scared whenever there's a big lorry? I think that's done too many times. One too it's done many. Twice, isn't it? 
He's done thrice. Is it? Yeah. I guess I've no no because that's just his character, isn't it? That's, it is. It is. It is. Sure, sure. You'd be scared of the circus if you've been, you know, been detained as a as a boy to be fired out the cannon. It's every, a living every week. <laughs> <laughs> What a, bad, that, well, that... what a bad circus act. Firing a chicken out of a <laughs> bloody cannon. It's not you as bad as Glee. You see that. It's as bad as Glee. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else from your notes, Will? Uh, Captain, we've got a Klingon. I like that. I like that. Um, and that's... Klingon's on the starboard bow. That had starboard bound, starboard bound. <laughs> Klingon's on the starboard bound, starboard bound, Jim. Um, and that's it from me. <coughs> oh my God, pardon me. Nathan, have you got any notes? Um, there was something I remember saying when we were watching it about at the end when Mrs. Tweedy obviously gets stuck in the machine mm. and her head is fully dunked into like, a, yeah, like right. boiling hot gravy. She would definitely need some, some facial reconstruction after that. It was... And then... You were saying, um, as the door landed, I went, <laughs> yeah. oh, well, she's definitely dead now. <laughs> and I was like, well, she'd just be completely squashed into a flat piece of plasticine. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's about it that I can remember. Um, I, let's talk... Oh, we've got three wo- three wonderful women. We've got Amelda Stone, so we've got Jane Horrocks, and we've got Miranda Richardson. And we've come full circle because Miranda Richardson was in Sleepy Hollow. One of my favourite uh, movies I watched too young. Uh, I, I thought like Sleepy Hollow is great. It's not, it, it, yeah, oh, it's, it is a great film. I have it, it's yeah. better than Crimson Peak. Oh, yes. <laughs> no contest. Um, but it's it's quite funny as well. Like, it's not. Yeah. It, obviously, there is a couple of like scary moments ish in it. There's the bit with like the, the, the sort of. Um, what do you call it? Headless Horseman. Oh. Well, that, but the bit with the coffin with the spikes in it as well, and the yeah. his mother. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow is a perfect movie, sort of intermittent. Yeah, I, 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 I love sleep. You know what? It's going on my watch pile. <laughs> but it is, it is hilarious. It's a great. It film. is. It's great. Sleepy Hollow. Um, is wonderful. Still gutted about the play, to be honest. That I never got to it. Oh, yeah. Alas. Um. Yes, no, Miranda Richardson is marvellous in uh, Sleepy Hollow. Well, have you seen Sleepy Hollow yet? Uh, no. Good what? Get on Sleepy Hollow. Frederick, it's, it's a great all-star film. cast. Listen to this. Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, Miranda Richardson, Michael Gambon, Casper Van Dien, Jeffrey Jones, and that's and there's even more that they haven't even bothered to put on the back. There's um, Michael Goff. There's Christopher Lee. There's Alan Armstrong. There's... Um, well, that's about it. That's about it, really. It's a great <laughs> film. It is a great film. There's uh, Emperor Palpatine. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's great in it. That the, Is there a better middle scene, Nathan, than that? It's not really the middle. But that church scene, not to give anything away to Will. Oh, yeah. That The extended church scene is yeah. one of my favourite ten-minute stretches <laughs> of all time. It I is think a very good scene. I've watched that more than most things. <laughs> Very much enjoy it. But back to Chicken Run. Uh, <laughs> we don't have an, an alternate ending, but we do have a few fun facts. Now, there was a major push to get the film nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Obviously, that failed uh, <laughs> because we're not deluded. Uh, the failure to get the nomination and the popularity of the film among Academy members led to the inclusion of Best Animated Feature for the next Academy Awards, which was won by Shrek. Very well deserved. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I, we need to do a Shrek fortnight. Oh, yes, that's true. Do we, though? Because yes, three I and do, four are we? bad. But, but instead, you could do Puss in Boots. We, we could. <laughs> we could do Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life, which I still think <laughs> is really funny. It's um, very funny. I could show that to me, kid. <laughs> He's five now. He's five now. Shrek is low, Shrek is low. <laughs> um, Mel Gibson's kids played a major part in convincing Gibson to take the part because they were very impressed with the Wallace and Gromit shorts. I think we all are very impressed. Early in development, yeah. Mac's name was supposed to be short for Mac Nugget. 
Uh, very good. Ensuing legal problems seemed to. How? How? Oh, wow. All oh, right. This is a great wow. gag that they should have put in. One reference to Indiana Jones in the Pie Machine sequence that was never used had Rocky coming face to face with a chicken skeleton inside the machine and then saying they bought a used machine. How cheap is that? That's a great oh, I gag. Like that. I was That's amazing. great. Oh, I would have, what it, it could. There could be like some steaks uh, left in, and it could be like steaks. Why did it have to be steaks? Hey, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Better than real snakes. Oh, oh, snakes are terrible. Oh, oh. oh Mel, Mel Gibson recorded snakes. snakes are the worst things in the world. Uh, Mel Gibson recorded all of his lines separately in the United States, while the rest of the crew recorded them at Ardman Studios in Bristol, England. Oh, why did he did he not want to come to Bristol? Well, no, he was filming the Patriot. Oh, he was, wasn't he? To be fair, Bristol's not that <laughs> nice. Uh, scenes deleted from the finished film included Fowler being an alcoholic. <laughs> yes, please. A ch- this sounds like it's it's turning into like a, a big sprawling multi-story. You know, everybody's depressed movie. Um, a chicken eaten by the watchdogs in an escape attempt. More what I wanted. Rocky's soul escape from the farm by hiding in the egg bucket and a more elaborate climax. Mm. It involved Mr. Tweedy's... We can all hope one of them. <laughs> it involved Mr. Tweedy's mini, a truck, a combine harvester, Rocky and Ginger jumping over hedges on a tricycle, like Steve McQueen in Grayscape, before going over a cliff, Mrs. Tweedy falling in mud, and the harvester encasing her in a bale of hay with Mr. Tweedy gloating right there's going to be some changes around here then the albatross breaks <laughs> up and the chickens fly by themselves into the sunset when they land they do the funky chicken dance in celebration <laughs> oh, no. oh my god is that genuine what I don't Nick know Park wrote sounds like a fan fiction <laughs> Um, Hut 17 is a reference to the wonderful Billy Wilder film Stalag 17 about a POW camp Uh, and there is another Wilder reference um, uh, a line taken straight from Ace in the Hole one of my favourite Billy Wilder movies I've met a lot of hard boiled eggs in my time but you're 20 minutes that's great Yeah, it's even even better uh, he's just saying about the the, uh, the shell still coming on as well doesn't he (laughs) that's great stuff Here's, it's time for Price is Right. Closest oh. without going over. Halfway through production, so not even the complete production. How many pounds of plasticine had been used? Uh, what? As, as in financial value pounds mm-hmm. or, or weight? Literal pounds of plast- Literal, like, weight. Uh, literal pounds. can still be... Oh, okay. yeah, weight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only work in uh, kilograms, I'm afraid. Yeah, it moves on from imperial measurements. Um, no, we've we've left the EU now. We can we could go back. But why would we? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you still uh, work in Fahrenheit, don't you? So. Oh, we we do use Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a pop at if there's what is it a thousand a thousand pounds? Is it in a ton? Uh, oh, or is it a hundred? One of them. Uh, I'm gonna say is metric, isn't it? Probably. Um, I'm gonna say six hundred and fifty pounds. So, oh, it's got to be more than that. I'm gonna go for like four thousand two hundred. Ooh, Will wins because it's closest really? without going over. It's three thousand three hundred and seventy. Oh, so you shot <laughs> just like the chickens. You flew too far to the sun. Um. There was no chicken called Icarus. <laughs> that should have been a gag. We shouldn't Chickarus. <laughs> uh, uh, director cameo, Nick <laughs> Park, is the voice of the clucking chicken below the disguised teapot. Uh, but it's hardly Hitchcock. But, there you go. Uh, That's <laughs> what a degree in Hallam can get you. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually in Chicken Run. I was the voice of the clucking chicken beneath the teapot. In Russia, the title of the movie is Escape from the Hen House. 
<laughs> Arguably, it's a better movie for the better title for the film. It does what uh, it says on the tin, really, doesn't it? It does. Here are some uh, possible castings. Nathan Lane was considered for the role of Rocky. That's good. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, David Schwimmer. These are all for Rocky. David Schwimmer. See that. John Leguizamo. David Arquette. Ethan Hawke. You could have, Ethan Hawke, you got a chicken reference. I mean, why not do it? Um, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. That would have been wonderful. But no, he chose the right movie because Shrek was the year after, wasn't it? Oh, yes. I if he did like Chicken that. Run, he would have never been Donkey. Would? No, because of the... And he would have never done Tower Heist. I don't know if that's the person. <laughs> um, two far better gingers in my eyes. Um, Winona Ryder. Oh, to be fair, would have been very good. Or Drew Barrymore. Oh, mm. yeah. I'm well, massively sold on Drew Barrymore there. Do you not like The Wedding Singer? I do. I do. A, a movie I did watch for the first time as well over lockdown, actually. I, I, don't, I don't like the Drew and Adam... Um, chemistry. I don't think they've got chemistry. Like um, Fifty First Dates. I don't think they're doing no Fifty chemistry. First Dates or Blended. But I think no. Wedding Singers. For I really, I yeah. want to grow old with you. It's enough to break your heart. Billy Idol. It's just a bit with Billy Idol on yeah. the plane. <laughs> We've got some entertainment for you tonight. We've got a guy from the first class who wants to sing a song. And then he starts hitting on the aerostess straight away. She's like Billy, Billy. And then uh, you've got the <laughs> old lady doing. Um, uh, Rafa's delight. I said a hip, hop, a hip to the hippie, and a hip, hip, hop. You don't stop the racket. The racket the bang, bang, boobies. Wedding singer, great movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cause it's ladies' night. <laughs> uh, great stuff. Tom's big question: Who's your favourite chicken? Oh, I mean, I, if we go in, if we, if we, if I'm just ignoring your question and saying who's my favourite character. Uh, I would. It's yeah, that's Nick what and, I mean. Yeah. It's Nick and Fletcher. Uh, and Fletcher. Well, if, if oh, favorite yeah, chicken no, is no. I would have allowed it if you were going to say Mr. Tweedy or Mrs. Tweedy. No, no I, uh, I should have said this. I'm not. A, I didn't find those funny. Poor man's Waldorf well, and Statler. I just didn't get. I just didn't find them funny. I'm sorry. I, I do like Bunty, the Imelda. Yeah. Bunty or, or Mac is quite good. Yeah, yeah. as the chickens go. Um, and and Jane Horrocks as well, Babs. We love Babs. Bun, Bunty Horrocks. Babs. Basically, any, any of the chickens except for Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah. Literally anybody in the cast. <laughs> um, here's a question. And it should have been in change, actually. But anyway. What do human, what, humans... What do humans see? Why don't we have... the In all of these movies, all of the Toy Story, you know... What happens when you turn your eyes and all these people? Why isn't there a shot where it's like the chicken, what the humans see? Do the humans see them all dressed up like this? Do they yes, do... Mr. Tweedy keeps seeing them, yeah. like but doing the press ups and stuff. But that doesn't, like that, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it does. It doesn't because they've all got hats, Will. <laughs> <laughs> they've all got hats. <laughs> does, they, does he see them like this? Oh. Anyway. Yes. Uh, is this the best Aardman film? No. Exclu we'll say oh, feature. Oh, I'm maybe. excluding. I'm excluding Wallace and Gromit shots. <sighs> what? So? Oh. I, this is. I'd a... probably go for yes. Not a lot in it, I don't think. But he, he, no. He... For nostalgia reasons, um, personally, I, yeah, I'd go this, then Where Rabbit, then Flushed Away. But, but all, it's all, all very close. Very close. Yeah. yeah. Early Man was a bit of a disappointment. Mm. Is this Pirate the best stop good. motion movie? Oh, no. Fantastic Mr. Fox is better. Oh, I yeah, Fox Fantastic better. Mr. Fox is, is I'd very say, good. I prefer this personally to Fantastic Mr. Fox. If we're, if we're looking at artistic and creative sort of uh, input, I'd say Mr. Fox is better visually. It's always well, Anderson, a, isn't it? As a film, yeah. But as yeah. a film, this is the better animated film, if you get me. But I think uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Mrs. Fox is better, better animated. All around. It's very good. It's my favourite, Wes Anderson. Yeah, it's funnier, it's 
better actor, it's a better script. It's like, George Clooney. It's, George, it's got George Pattinson. Clooney. <laughs> Say that again, sorry, Nathan. You, pr- you prefer Fantastic Mr. Fox to Grand Budapest? I do, I do. It's, it's probably Mr. Fox, uh, Moonrise, uh, then Budapest. I know Tom's a sucker for... Um, Rushmore. Rushmore. Rushmore is my favourite. Rush, I'd, I'd say Rushmore. Rushmore Moonrise. Uh, oh, maybe Royal Tenenbaums. I'm a sucker for Royal Tenenbaums. Rushmore's like firm. Rushmore's yeah. number one, and it never won't be, unless the French dispatch is excellent. But the rest of them are on a pretty even keel of solid mm. nines or tens. Yeah. I, 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 they're, they're all equally... Um, the two that good. I did... Yeah, he's, he's a good... He's pretty good, isn't he? Life Aquatic and um, Darjeeling Limited stray too far. Uh, people always say, is he style over substance? I don't think he is. No. Um, but I think Life Aquatic and Darjeeling maybe are style over substance. But you like Isle of Dogs. Uh, we talked about it last time. Yeah. Love Isle of Dogs. Very good. I don't think it's very as good, good as Fantastic Mr. Fox. No. But I very much enjoy And it didn't make it to... Our fortnights consist of six films, and it didn't mm. make it to our six Wes Anderson movies. But um, I very much enjoy it. All the same. Um, moving on, what happened? What is the Tweedy relationship like after this? I mean, I mean, Mrs. I'm pretty, Mrs. Tweedy pretty sure dead. she's dead. Yeah. Um, in which case, Mr. Tweedy sells the farm, I reckon, because he, he couldn't handle that. Well, there's, there's not, there's nothing. Oh, could he? Has he just been? Has he just been? You know. Bullied all his life. Can he maintain a solid farm? Yeah, but there's, there, there is nothing left to farm. This, yeah. So he, yeah, he, he leaves. The, he sell, he's, Oh, well, he, 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 he uses the noose. <laughs> he finds a knitted noose. <laughs> no, that's the ending. Why isn't the ending? Why is it the? Why isn't it the exact same ending as Batman Returns? Why doesn't the camera keep panning out and then just like Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman pops into the front corner? Mr. Tweedy pops in with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and then cut to black, and then it's... Doon, 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 <laughs> So it turns into Tarantino. <laughs> That's what I'd watch. I'd move it, watch a movie where Mr. Tweedy kills the chickens. Well, Chicken Run 2. Synopsis yeah. of a sequel, next category. I want to see Mr. Tweedy's Revenge. Oh, we've got it. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Chicken Run 2. <laughs> Has there been any word yet about what Chicken um, Run 2 will be? No, I don't think so. As, as uh, here we go. Oh, go on. Having pulled off an escape from Tweedy's farm, Ginger has found a peaceful island sanctuary for the whole flock. Mm. But back on the mainland, the whole of chicken kind faces a new threat, and Ginger and her team decide to breaking in. Is this going to be like a free-range political statement? I'm not sure. What, what could affect mass chickens? Foxes... Mr. Um, Tweedy Ma- might have started McDonald's. A, I, oh, McDonald's! I really want Mr. Like Tweedy to start McDonald's. a big empire. Oh, and it turns into the I want him to be the main Michael, Ke- It turns into the founder with Michael Keaton. The founder is one of my favourite films of all time. I love it. <laughs> it turns into the founder with Michael Keaton as Roy Kroc making McDonald's, <laughs> but instead he's of just, making McDonald's, he's making um, Tweed Donald's. <laughs> Chicken pies. <laughs> the opening shot is Mr. just Tweedies. Mr. Tweedy in his car, and he gets brought this this um, station meal. It's like this this could be better, and he goes and finds McDonald's. McTweedies. There we go. Tweedies. That's what we want. Uh, yeah. Nathan, have you any final thoughts on Shock and Run? Oh, um, closing line all the fame. We've already discussed it, haven't we? The whole ha ha ha. What came first, chicken or the egg? Very yeah. clever. Uh, the chicken. Definitely came first. That'd be that'd be my closing thought. Well, yes, because it was evolution from the lizard, wasn't it? It Probably. was, and I the people that use the argument, well, it doesn't specify what kind of egg, and uh, eggs as a as an opt, as a thing have have been around for many times. Many animals are born from eggs. But the chicken egg in particular is what we're after. Thank you very much. Yeah, rant over. Cheers, Jeff. People who say the question. Or what kind of birds, chicken or the egg? People, that's the biggest thing that annoys me. People who think that the conversation is soup, a drink or a food is actual dinner conversation. 
if you can, I am a big person for, you know, like winning the conversation or whatever, like dinner conversation has to be, has to be good. It has to be of a quality. And if somebody's like, it's quiet. And then somebody goes, mm, okay, then you soup, a drink or a food. I just, I, 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 I can't stick it. So that's not real conversation anyway. Well, any final thoughts on Chicken Run? Wonderful movie. It was a wonderful movie. Um, and now I have the DVD. So my, you know what's really annoying? This is why why DVDs are going... It was all jumpy at the end. Mm. It's very annoying. Anyway, right, it's... Oh, right, I'm not going to end to the yawn. That would be tremendously rude. <laughs> um... Thank you very much for coming with us, Nathan. As um, oh, as alluded to earlier in the episode, you'll be joining us uh, for the graduate, graduate, yes. the graduate. Oh, um, after Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. What? <laughs> what? Will you have an awestruck look on your face? Do I? Um, well, I uh, we, are we inviting Nathan back for our Christmas bonanza when we? Yes. If yes. you want to be, we'll sort that out uh, after. The, right, yeah. very good. Well, audience, <laughs> leave us to it. We've got a Christmas oh. special to plan. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>